I have picked up a lot of stuff since the last recent pickups video through Black Friday to the holidays all the way till now It's been a while. So let's talk about my recent pickups brought to you by Shop Tiger So we're gonna start off with the Alpha Industries MA1 Battle Wash Bomber Jacket I've already made a whole video on how to style bomber jackets. Make sure you check that one out I picked this one up because I really dig the wash of the jacket You normally just see olive black and all that but this one is quite unique It's not really olive and it's not really blue It's more of a teal color and it is also reversible with a brown wash to it and I equally wear both sides so I get two jackets for the price of one so that's what I would recommend and keep that in mind if you're looking for a bomber jacket make sure both sides are wearable most of your typical bomber jackets are olive and orange inside so the olive is quite wearable but the orange is really loud it's neon orange and it's quite bright for those of you that are gonna ask in this video I am 5'7 and I weigh 156 pounds this is a size medium and it fits quite boxy and more relaxed fitting nothing too slim fitting I took a hiatus on bombers because everyone has recommended one and it's just your basic jacket for dudes that also looks great don't get me wrong but everyone has one in the wardrobe it's nothing too special it's also why my bomber video didn't get too many views people really aren't into bombers nowadays i guess but when i saw this one i just had to pick it up because the wash was so clean and so dope definitely recommend picking this up if you could next up is a pair of tech pants from nike acg i posted this on my story this literally just came in today but i posted it on my story because it was 44 percent off almost half price it was a really solid deal and i hope some of you guys capitalize on that like i did you know how i found out these were 40% off well I tagged them with the sponsor of today's video shop tagger and shop tagger notified me that these were on sale so let me go ahead and thank shop tagger for sponsoring this video and supporting the channel I honestly believe that shop tagger is the best way to tackle online shopping we don't have all this time to be checking the store for restocks every day I've been using it for everything all from tech deals to plants for interior design all the way to some skate stuff you don't have to use it just for clothes if it wasn't for shop tagger I wouldn't have been able to pick up the deploy cargoes and these cargoes because shop tagger notifies you for any restocks or sales and i got the email saying that these were almost half off like seriously i've been eyeing these pants for months because they were always sold out and shop tagger saved me a ton of headache i tagged those i got the email it was beautiful and now as of recording this video they are probably sold out all you got to do is download the extension in the link below i use chrome or you can get the mobile app on your phone and start checking out your favorite stores and tagging items when you get to your store or item this blue shop tagger button pops up you can drag it up and down to navigate around the page you can create curated lists based off styles types of clothing tech that you want that's totally up to you and aside of getting notified of sales for your items when you go to checkout you can just click a button to apply a list of coupon codes to save some money or you can capitalize on their cash back feature to earn some money off of your purchase and if you want to save as much money as possible definitely get the extension and download the app on your phone because the coupon code feature isn't available on mobile yet and I personally do most of my browsing on mobile I add the stuff in the carts then I go to my desktop then I apply the list of coupon codes just to see if I save some money that way I always get the best deal I've been using shop tagger way before they even sponsored this channel so I definitely recommend it so thank you shop tagger for sponsoring this video really appreciate it back to these pants any tech cargoes for under 100 bucks is solid but these ones in particular yeah it's not as distinct as the deploy ones from a few years back but these offer a more minimalistic approach clean lines, simple pockets. This one has a built-in belt for adjustments. I do wish there was more adjustability with the ankle area, like the deploy cargos, but especially for near half off, I'm not complaining. Next up, I have a few watches. This is the Casio G-Shock collaboration. And this one in particular is a GM5600-1 model which is just an all-arounder. It's not the high-end version with Bluetooth and all that, but it's not a big deal for me. I got this because I dig almost every G-Shock metal watch as it really complements those technical looks. And it's just so easy to throw on. It's comfortable because of that silicone band. You get 200 meters of water resistance, shock resistance, obviously it's a G-Shock. And so I don't really have to worry about this getting beat up. I'm not a watch snob by all means, but this is just a way better value than any of those fashion watches out there. It's so much cheaper and you get better performance and you don't really have to worry about this watch. And Speaking of fashion watches, I just picked up this Nixon Time Teller right here. It's under $80 and it's better than any other fashion watch brand I've seen out there. These watches both cater more towards that street look. So personal bias, I prefer these way more than any other chronograph or dive watches. These are just a better value for my style and I highly recommend them. Next up is this Kith hoodie that I'm rocking right now. This one is in their dusky mouth colorway, which is more of a nude neutral blush color that I really dig. And I haven't really worn this much because it's mad brick out here. There was a blizzard that just happened. So I'm always in a thick parka. If you're looking for any sort of muted clothing items, I definitely recommend checking out Kith. Next up, I have a total of six new pairs of sneakers. I know that's crazy. Three is from Nike. So let's start off with Nike. And also Nike, if you ever want to do another sponsored video, please, please hit me up. So let's start off with the Nike SB Blazers. Big shout out to TJ for letting me know that this 
came out. This is a brand new model, I believe. So I was never able to tag it with Shop Tagger, but you guys should if you guys like this model. When I was making my Blazers video, I was looking for an SB model because I wanted to incorporate it in that video. But I swear, nobody had it in stock in New York City. You know, every store I've checked, they did not have it. And I couldn't get it delivered in time for that video. So I had to stick to the regular Blazers, but I finally got an SB one. And so far these skate pretty decent. I've had like two sessions in it. I really dig the ankle support that you get and the flick isn't too bad. The colorways and little details are dope. These basically had the swoosh ripped off of it and placed on the toe box, which gives it a pretty sick look and that's just extra durability for flicks. There's also a double tongue and it's not the typical white sneakers that I always get, so it pushes me stylistically. Then I have these infinity runners that I got for 90 bucks. I also got this for my girl as well. It's got cream and rose to it. It's a pretty good looking sneaker, but I just got the all plain black ones because there was no other colorways. I really wanted the triple white ones, but they were sold out. I really just wanted a new workout sneaker and running sneaker as I'm gonna start cutting soon for the summertime. And I do plan on making an athleisure video, so these are a good addition to that video. Plus the comfort you get with these is unmatched in my opinion. It's more firm, but still bouncy which is what I prefer versus the super soft, plush, bouncy, uh, ultra boost, boost technology, which is still good, right? Don't get me wrong. I just prefer this over that. I also picked up this React type Gore-Tex sneakers. This is a sneaker nobody really has and it's made out of Gore-Tex. So you get a waterproof sneaker, you get a runner, and these go perfect for tech fits and they are also decently priced. So if you can find one for a good deal, I definitely recommend picking these ones up. This is a great affordable sneaker just to get your tech sneaker collection started. The Gore-Tex alone is already worth it. Now to the next three sneakers. I picked up three pairs of Vans. I picked up <laughs> the white slip-on pros, the olive authentic pros, and the, the cream skate highs pros. I got the slip-ons because I just wanted the white versions. I already had the checkerboard one, but I wanted an all-white one. And I picked up these Authentics because I think they look better than your regular Authentics. There's more rubber on the toe cap right here, which gives it more height to it, even though it's still a low top sneaker and I really like the look. Also, the colorway is dope. You got olive and cream to it. And I do plan on skating these when I get around to it. And then the Skate High Pros, I just wanted to see how they skated. So far, I like them. I'm still not used to mid-cut sneakers yet, but it's not a bad skate shoe so far. Like I said, there's a blizzard that just happened. So up next, we have the North Face Resolve 2 jacket. This is just a simple functional jacket with a high neck collar that protects you from the elements, but also gives you a futuristic look as well. I know there's a ton of hype on Arc'teryx right now for some reason. I must have missed something. I know Palace collabed with Arc'teryx, I believe, so I think that's the reason why. So this is a great alternative to that, but unfortunately, these don't have a double zipper, which sucks but they do have Velcro straps. So you can still get that look where it's more buttoned up and then it flares out at the bottom. And guess what? I only got this for 45 bucks. The North Face, they were having a discount for frontline and healthcare workers. My girl's a nurse, they gave her 50% off. So we both capitalized on that. She got some jackets, I got this jacket. But still for 90 bucks, you get a windproof and waterproof jacket. So this is a great starter jacket if you wanna get into that tech look. Definitely recommend this. I'll leave a link in the description. Now we have my Levi's pickups. I picked up these cargo pants mainly for street fits. I thought they'd be good for skating, but it turns out they're not very good skating. I don't recommend these. But for street fits, these are pretty solid. Now this right here, this utility jacket is something special. This is the collaboration between Levi's and White Mountaineering. Both brands are well respected. You got Levi's Americana with White Mountaineering's Japanese outdoor hiker core type of look. And together they created this beautiful garment right here. You could treat it like a normal denim jacket. You could treat it like a military street jacket or a jacket for the tech fits. There isn't too much performance to this in terms of handling the elements, but it's designed well and it's pretty good looking. I really dig the touches of olive and the different patches of blue. It's a very good looking jacket. Then I recently picked up these ASRV cargos right here. It's mainly for that athleisure video coming up a little bit later. But the great part about athleisure is it's a good stepping stone into tech wear. Tech wear is the derivative of athleisure. It's just taken to a whole nother level of creativity and function. These ones right here are a great middle ground. There's zipper pockets. It's weatherproof. You get a 3M reflective logo right here. Plus you get a lot of adjustability in the ankle area and it comes in this nice brown colorway. And also some non-fashion pickups. I got some new plants up here. Shout out to the homegirl Dan. I have a new setup right here. This is a Scumco 8.1 inch deck. We got some indies. We got some girl wheels. We got some red bearings obviously. Um, yeah. Glad I had this set up. It's not the uh, it's not the element complete that I had. And if you guys have been noticing the nice hair, obviously not right now. It's because I've been using Alex Costa's Forte series. You know his hair products. They're pretty good. Just to be transparent, they sent it over to me for free. No sponsors or anything, but it's a pretty good product. Their argan oil smells good. The hair product is pretty solid. I was using Suavecito Firm Clay before, and it was okay. It did the job. 
but there was just something about it that didn't really hold as long but i'm really digging forte right now but yeah those are my recent pickups i'm telling you guys download shop tiger a lot of these items, they're probably sold out right now, like the Levi's jackets, maybe the cargos. And just in general, if you do any form of shopping, you shop, tag or tag the items. Follow me on Instagram at Ty. Give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe. I'm out. Peace out.